good morning children how are you all i hope you're fine taking good care of yourself and yes that is the need of the hour we have to take care of ourselves that is how we can take care of others also our family our siblings our neighbors we have to follow these sops we have to wear masks always because the latest news is that it's airborne so you can get it anywhere it's anywhere it can be anywhere in the air it can be inside your house also so you have to keep on wearing mask always and sanitize your hands often don't touch your face just get rid of that habit don't touch your face be careful about touching your face and then maintain distance from others there is no need to go out unnecessarily out and don't think that one person you you cannot make a difference you can make a lot of difference when you follow these sops others will learn from you you can tell about these sops to your family to your siblings they'll learn from you and similarly others will learn from your family members so one person can make a lot of difference and i'm sure you'll follow these steps we get to hear about these sops that we should uh, maintain this distance we should follow these sops that is how this pandemic will beat this pandemic and hopefully soon so let's have a quick look at the chapter again we have already done it let's have one more revision of this chapter so before you read this is second chapter of from your book honey suckle main literature book that is named honey suckle and the name of the chapter is how the dog found himself a new master so this story tells us about the dogs why and how they became so faithful to us though i have told you this is not a true story but then it has been told to generations to generations and then some people think that it is a true story but it is not like that we know how the dog how we were able to domesticate how we were able to tame a dog how we were able it was the dog was uh, was like a wolf it used to live in the forest wandering in search of food and all but then when man himself he the early man himself he was wandering in the forest looking for food he didn't have a proper shelter he didn't have a house to live in he didn't have clothes to wear but then slowly gradually with time because he was very intelligent so he learned so many things he could adapt himself he learned to wear clothes make clothes he learned to uh, first live in caves then he could build a shelter for himself and then after some time man learned that animals could be uh, could be useful to us some animals can uh, give us like we can use them for some products like for meat for these eggs milk and all but some others some other animals can help us do our work carry our loads and that's how man learned about dog also that it can be quite useful for us it can guard us from uh, from diff- animals also from others also thieves or s- enemies or s- people who want to harm us man learned it slowly that a dog can be faithful to us it can be tamed but here in this story it is about the dog because he thinks that how he became faithful to us it is from the viewpoint of the dog so before you read you may know that the dog and the wolf are closely related yes we know it they are from the same family dogs and wolves they are from one same family like uh, cats they come from the lion family similarly dogs come from the wolf family you may also know something about how over the centuries human beings have domesticated and tamed wild animals like i just told you how man being very intelligent how he learned to adapt with the conditions and how he learned to use the resources around him 
he could grow food for himself he could tame animals he could domesticate make use of those animals so because man was a is a very intelligent animal here is a story about how the dog became a tame animal so here we have a story where we come to know how the dog became our loyal friend how the dog found himself a master so here in this story we are not looking for a dog it's the dog who is looking for a master so let's see who he finds dogs were once their own masters so long long time ago dogs were not loyal to man they didn't live like they are living these days nowadays they used to live in forests free like wolves like other wild animals they had to go about searching for food they had to hide from wild animals those animals which could harm him so he was always the uh, dog was always living in fear of other animals bigger animals more dangerous animals than him and he was all he had to look for food always so they were their own masters they wouldn't listen to anyone and live the way wolves do so they were living same as the wolves in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with his way of life so it was still a dog was born and what was particular about that dog he was not happy with his way of living he was not happy with his life he was ill pleased what is ill pleased ill pleased is unhappy ill pleased is unhappy so he didn't like the way he was living ill pleased is old fashioned way of saying not happy with his way of life he was sick and tired sick and tired is a phrase here sick and tired it is a phrase sick and tired so this this is this makes one meaning sick and tired that means he was bored tanga chuka tha wo apni life se aise rehte rehte khane ki talash mein dusre animal se dar ke rehne ki wajah se so he was very he didn't like the way he was living of wandering wandering means going moving about aim lessly about by himself all alone about by himself means all alone wandering means moving around aim lessly looking for food and being frightened of those so he had to always look for food nobody was giving him food in platters like if we keep a dog we just serve them food at proper times but here the dog had to go in search of food and it was not that he were he would have to go just a few steps away he had to wander and wander long distances till he could find something to eat and being frightened frightened is being scared so he was scared also of those who were stronger than he strong he was he he was in fear he was always afraid of the animals that were stronger and more da- dangerous than him he thought it over so he began to think about it how to change his life and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth so he set about thinking about his life because he didn't like his life so what did he what uh, decision did he reach that he got the idea that he should not live like the way he is living so he should become the servant of someone who is the strongest of all who is not scared of anyone so with whom he can have a better life so he thought about becoming someone's servant and he set out to find such a master so when he decided that he went in search of the master such kind of master who was the strongest of all so he set about he walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his so he went about in search of such a 
such an animal whom he thought would not be frightened of anyone in the forest so who who did he meet he met a kinsman kinsman is one of his family members one who was related to him only a big wolf like i said wolf and dog they come from the same family they are related to each other so he met a kinsman a family member of his and who was it a big wolf who was as strong as he was fierce because he was a very weak he was like a coward dog he was frightened of others but he thought that the wolf was very big so he must be strong and he thought thought of him as being very fierce dangerous where are you going dog the wolf asked so when the wolf saw the dog he asked him where he was going i am looking for someone to take up service with so he told him the truth that i am looking for some animal to whom i can be a servant so i want to serve someone who is very strong and who is the strongest of all would you like to be my master wolf so he asked him whether he would like to be his master because he thought that wolf is very strong and very fierce animal so every other animal would be scared of him i don't see why not the wolf said so wolf jumped at the idea he was happy that i have got a servant for myself what more can i ask for so he said of course why not why can't you become my servant yes i am ready to take you as my servant and this agreed upon the two of them went on together so both of them agreed on this and they went together so kinsman is old fashioned word for a relative for a relative fierce is violent and frightening one who is very dangerous take up service with become the servant of so they went together one was a servant and another was the master they walked and they walked and all of a sudden the wolf lifted his nose so they were just walking and walking and suddenly what happened the wolf he stopped and he lifted his nose as if he was smelling something you must have seen animals when they uh, they can smell something strange or something familiar so they just move their head and lift their nose up that is what the wolf did he lifted his nose as if he was smelling something sniffed so he smelled darted quickly he jumped as if he was scared he darted quickly off the path and into the bushes so he just ju- jumped and hid in the bushes and crept deeper into the forest and went deep into the फॉरेस्ट मतलब जल्दी से वो जो है उसको कोई स्मेल आई वो एकदम भाग गया बुशेज की तरफ झाड़ियों की तरफ और बहुत घने जंगल की तरफ वो गाय भी हो गया एंड क्रैप डीपर इन टू द फॉरेस्ट द डॉग वॉज मच सरप्राइज द डॉग वॉज वेरी सरप्राइज ही वॉज शॉक्ड ही कुंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट हैपन टू द wolf what was it that he, he thought that his behavior was quite strange he just vanished into the forest what's come over you master he asked so he asked him what the matter was why did you behave in such a manner what has frightened you so aap kis cheez se itna dar gaye can't you see there is a bear out there and he might eat up both of us you and me so the wolf told him why can't you see that there is a bear out there and if he sees us he'll just eat both of us so that means the wolf was scared he got frightened when he saw the bear that is why he could smell a bear that is why he lifted his nose in order to make sure whether it was actually a bear so he could smell danger so darted moved quickly and suddenly come over you affected you you and me seeing that the bear was stronger than the wolf so the dog understood that i thought that the wolf is strong he is very dangerous but then it is not so it is actually the bear who is the stronger of them who is the stronger of the 
too. So the dog decided to take up service with him. So dog was very unfaithful. He thought, no, I wouldn't, uh, I should not be with the wolf. He's not strong. It would not be good for me. So he left the wolf and went with the bear to become his servant and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master so he left the wolf there and then and asked him asked the bear to take him as a servant the bear agreed to this readily the bear was also happy with the proposal so he said yes of course you will be my servant and i'll be your master and said let us go and find a herd of cows so let's go and find a herd of cows let's see where cows are i'll kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill so i will set about finding a herd of cows so that i can kill a cow he was apparently very hungry and then he wanted to kill a cow and then he told him that we can have both we can both eat our fill Pet bhar ke hum apna khana khayenge. They walked on and soon saw a herd of cows. So they went in search of the cows and soon they saw a herd of cows. A lot of cows, there a group of cows. But just as they were about to come up to it, they were stopped by a terrible noise. So they saw, they walked on and they saw a herd of cows. But just as they were about to go near the cows and kill a cow suddenly they were stopped by a terrible noise there was a terrible noise somewhere nearby nearby a very frightening noise the cows were moving loudly and the cows were also quite they looked very disturbed they were making a lot of noise their sound is called moo like when we learn these no, uh, sounds of animals we say cows moo so they were mooing they were just making lot of noise and running in a panic in all directions as if something was disturbing they were scared of something so they were uh, running in all directions in panic something wrong was happening there the bear looked out from behind a tree so bear also could understand there that there is some danger nearby there is something dangerous nearby so he hid behind a tree chori se dekhne laga ki kya hai aage and then he too ran hastily achanak wo bhi bhag gaya jaldi se hastily hurriedly deeper into the forest wo bhi bhag khada ho gaya so what had happened to him See, this is the picture. The bear is hiding behind a tree, looking out for, looking, uh, uh, just trying to understand why these cows are running here and there. They are scattered like this, why they are in panic. So he is also scared and he could understand what it was. Now, why did I have to come here? So he began to curse himself. Ki mujhe kya padi thi ki main idhar a gaya. Said he to the dog. It is the lion who rules the forest in these parts. It's actually the uh, territory of the lion. He rules these parts of the forest. Why did I have to come here and put my life in danger? So he was quite tensed about it. The lion, who is he? So dog was amazed again, shocked. Okay, now who is this lion? Don't you know he's the strongest beast on Earth. So bear told him why you don't know about lion. He is the strongest beast on the earth, strongest animal on the earth. Everyone is scared of him. Well then, I'll say goodbye to you bear. I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. So again his streak of unfaithfulness came out. So he decided to leave the bear there and then and take up service with the lion. So he told him, okay, then it's time to say goodbye to you. And I don't want you as a master now. I'll go and take the service of the lion. I'll become his servant. Because I want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth. Since you are scared of the lion, so it's apparent that you are not the strongest of all. So I'll go and live with the lion. 
and off the dog went to ask the lion to be his master so he offered to be his servant and the lion agreed to that the lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and with him and served him for a long long time so lion agreed he also said okay you be my servant and i'll be your master there's no problem you can stay with me so the dog stayed with him for a long time and served him for a long long time because he could see yes the lion is the king of the jungle he is the strongest of all he is the most dangerous animal in the forest and every other animal is scared of him so he thought that yes now is the life that is quite good i want to lead this kind of life so it was a good life and he had nothing to complain of so he thought that he was leading quite a good life good and comfortable life where he didn't have to look for food where he didn't had to hide from others and he had nothing to complain of kisi cheez ki shikayat nahi thi usko for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion because lion was the strongest of all and no one dared touch the dog aur koi to himmat nahi kar raha tha uski taraf dekhne ki bhi nahi because he was the servant of the strongest beast of in the forest or offend him in any way ya usko naraz na he dared means himmat jurrat nahi kar rahe the usko touch karne ki ya fir usko naraz karne ki him in any way but one day the two of them were walking side by side so after some time both of them were just walking in the forest side by side along a path that ran amid bare cliffs and it was such a path do pahadiyon ke beech mein wo rasta tha and those were bare cliffs that those rocky cliffs rocky sort of hills steep rocks where there were no trees bare means where where there were no trees and all they were just rocky hills so they were walking there when all of a sudden the lion stopped so suddenly the lion stopped in the middle of the path he gave a great roar zor se usne awaaz lagayi and struck the ground angrily if you if you have noticed when the lion is angry what he does wo paws se apne na zameen pe zor se maarta gusse se so this is what he did with his paw with such force that a hole formed there he was so angry and he uh, struck the ground with such force itne zor se itna gussa tha usko usne zameen ko itni zor se apne panje se mara ki waha ek hole jaisa ban gaya then he began to back away very quietly aur fir aista se dabe paunchyo matlab aista se wapas chal wapas jaane laga what is it master is anything wrong asked the dog surprised so again the dog was surprised he thought he was thinking that he was he was living such a good life such a wonderful life with the lion he had everything he could ever ask for he was he had every all kinds of food he wanted he want he was leading a good life comfortable life everybody was even scared of them so he didn't know that even the lion can behave in such a manner he can be scared of someone so he asked him what the matter was i smell a man coming this way so he could smell a man that is why he got so angry the lion said we would better run for it or will be in trouble so we better run away from here or we will be in trouble or something dangerous can happen to us oh well then i'll say goodbye to you so he at once could understand of course the lion is not the strongest of all so he again thought of leaving his service and taking up the service of the man now oh well then i'll say goodbye to you lion i want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth so he told him the same thing it is I have always been looking for someone who is the strongest of all. I don't want to be the ma- servant of anyone who is scared of others. And off the dog went to join the man, and he stayed with him and served him faithfully. 
This happened long, long ago, but to this day the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master. So this is how a dog became our most faithful friend. He tried many animals, wolf, bear, even the lion, but then he could see that man is the strongest of all. So that is how he came to become our faithful animal and to this day he is faithful to us the most faithful and loyal friend of ours so here are more words more difficult though not difficult but then maybe new for you dead to be brave and enough to do something cliff a steep high rock often at the edge of the sea so those were the words. You should always know the meanings of these. Remember the meanings of these words. But then there are other words also which can be new for you. So you should always try to look up their meanings in the dictionary. Or listen to your teacher when she tells you the meaning. So you should always try to understand and learn the pronunciation and the meaning of those words. So this was about the chapter. This is how the dog came to be our loyal friend, most faithful animal on the earth. This is how the dog is useful to us. Other animals like horse, cow, camel, these, they are also very helpful to us. They are domesticated and some are just tamed animals. Domesticated are those who which can give us something and they can we can use them for some products and all but others like horses they can carry our loads even bullocks and then donkeys also whereas others like cows goats sheep and these chicken they give us some eatables also we can use their products for eating purposes so this was the story about the dog i hope you have understood it very simple story this is there were not so many difficult words in the story hope you have understood it take good care of yourself like i said these are times when we need to take care of ourselves and i hope and I'm sure that you will take good care of yourself and save yourself from this, from these difficult times. God bless you children.